When I came to FIA, I knew that it would help me start out in somewhere other than at the very beginning, like as, say, a tester. You would jump straight into uh, an experience where you would have a knowledge base, a working knowledge base that tells your employers that, hey, I've worked in this industry before. I don't have to start at the bottom. I know what I'm doing. So we can just get off and rolling and start living your dreams without having to really you know, put in the time, so to speak. surprised me the most. You know, I can't say that I'm a person that comes in with into anything with expectations. I just want to get from the experience what uh, what it offers me. But what pleased me most about this is that you do get the stresses of live, working this job where you dedicate your whole time to it. It's not a nine to five job. It's not a five work you know, five day work week job. Uh, you have to have that passion and you work around people who should share that passion with you. And you do get that sense of this is me, this is my team, I don't do anything by myself. We all are in this together and we share that experience. So it really gives you that sense of working in a team and that's really what's most important to uh, working in the game industry because no one person does anything by themselves. You know, we did get a warning very early on that your work life and personal life would suffer from coming to the program because it is a full-time dedication that you need to put into this. So I did have to quit my job. It's something that I was warned at the very beginning. And, uh, you know, it's a good thing that I do love video games as my personal passion. So if I had any other hobbies outside of this, I think those would have suffered too. You know, the best thing that you'll take out of FIA is the team working experience because uh, working out in the industry, you don't work by yourself, you're working within a team environment. And then when you're in an interview process, they really want to know, hey, what have, what's the kind of things that you've dealt with on your project? And usually the problems that arise are not necessarily with little tasks, they're with team members and arguments. So to show that you've been able to work and discuss with other people and come to agreements is the strongest thing that you can come out of this program knowing. It's not necessarily just the knowledge of how to say program or make 3D animations or do good design work to know what sells. It's really, I can work on a team and I'm not so selfish that we can't come come to a compromise between us. I'll be working on production and design on the whole EA Sports franchise, working with the central teams doing online multiplayer matchmaking. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking all of the technologies and features that they've put into non-EA Sports games and trying to redevelop them to work within uh, the sports environment. So say people need to be matched up with same skill levels, which is most important when dealing with these sports. And perhaps working with who's more hardcore about me meeting up every weekend versus who's more casual about that. So I'll just be making uh, features that allow people to come together and play as they wish within all EA Sports franchises.